Ekana is a binary star system and it's probably the flattest star we know right now. And if you live in the northern hemisphere, there's a rare chance you would have spotted it. Because it's too far south. So here's Ekana intro. Ekana is also called the end of the river. The river is of course the constellation of Eridanus. Yep, it really looks like a river. Now, the star is quite far south and you wouldn't see it above 33 degrees north latitude. Which means that a lot of people, if you live in North America and also Europe, you wouldn't be able to spot the star in the night sky. <laughs> and even if you live a little below 33 degrees north latitude, you will still have the star when it's highest in the sky pretty near the horizon. So you need to get a really flat ground away from all the stuff like mountains and buildings. So it's not that easy. But if you are a Saudi, well then you guys are pretty lucky here. Now if you want to find the star in the night sky, you need to first locate the constellation of Eridanus. And it's not that hard to find because it's near another majestic and famous constellation which you already probably know, the Orion. So if you are able to spot Orion, which I probably guess you will be, so if you find it, then just right beside it is the start of the river, the Eridanus. Then you should just follow the path of the river, but you should really use a reference image here because if you just keep connecting the random dots, you probably take the river any way you want to. So reference image is important. Then at its end you'll then find Ekana. So it's right ascension, 1 hour 37 minutes and 43 seconds and declination of about minus 57 degrees, 14 minutes and 12 seconds. So let's look at how many people in the history observed the star in the night sky and decided to write it down on the paper. <laughs> now the first culture to come to your mind would be probably the ancient Greek. But no, the star is not visible in Greece and it wasn't back then. So the Greeks couldn't have observed it. Now another, another culture which come to your mind would be probably the ancient Egyptians. But sadly no, because of the Earth's precession, as the star is already quite south, it was further south back then. So the star was not visible in ancient Egypt and the Egyptians wouldn't have observed it. So who was the first person to observe the star in the night sky? First catalog to contain the star Ekna is actually the map of Eridanus by Johann Baer. Though Baer did not observe it himself, it was done by Peter Dugson Kieser and in the first voyages of Dutch to the East Indies. So unlike many other stars, this was not actually very cultural. Now alright, it's time to know how the star looks like or its characteristics. Now it's about 6 to 8 times the size of a sun, which would probably mean that it is a main sequence star and it is. It's a main sequence star of category B6 and it's also about 3150 times as luminous as a sun. So this star is quite bright and it's also a little bigger but it's not too big. Its mass is about 6 to 8 times that of a sun and its diameter is about 8 to 10 times that of a sun. However, there's one thing which is very interesting about Ekna. It's its rotation. Where as a sun rotates at about 25 days once around its axis, Ekna here completes one rotation in just a little more than two days. So it rotates very rapidly. In fact, it spins so rapidly that its shape is actually, it bulges out at its equator. So it's no longer a sphere. It's more like an oblate spheroid. And also because of its shape, it's hard to determine the star's temperature as there would be no single defining temperatures. The temperatures at the poles and the equator would be quite different. So the poles actually end up being a little hotter than the equator as it's more closer to the core. Uh, Astronaut estimates its temperature to be about between 14,000 to about 19,000 Celsius. It's also quite similar to another star I actually made a video about, Altair as because of its fast rotation, it also bulges at its equator. And it's also just 140 light years away, which I realized I haven't told you yet. So that's it for this video, and I hope you guys liked the video. But before going, I wanted to tell you guys that you actually see all my three footages in this video because 
actually I shot this video three times and on the first two times I lost half of my footage. Actually I, I lost it all and then I recovered half of it later which left me in a weird kind of situation. So I ended up mixing all of these footages and this is the video you got. So this is it and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I'll see you guys in the next one and just go ahead and check out more other star videos. And happy stargazing. Bye.